Hey everybody! Uh, not sure what this game is, people have been telling me to play it. Um, apparently it's called The Binding of Isaac, whatever that means. Uh, it must, must be about gymnastics or something like that. In any case, I can't continue that charade too much longer. We lost the last run. We might have lost even if I hadn't... Ooh, even if I hadn't made a really dumb decision. Uh, by picking up Lard and ruining my permanent Polaroid invincibility, which also ruined Whore of Babylon, which also ruined the Poison Touch and the yada yada. Uh, but... We did lose, and it was probably because of that terrible decision I made. Come on, jump! Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, what's done is done there. Really? There we go. I only needed one of those to go off to really speed this thing up, but I feel like kind of a jerk wasting three bombs so easily. Let's see what we get. Cat of Nine Tails gets rerolled into Squeezy. Don't pick up any of those on the way out, because we'll want those spirit hearts for the future. And man, we are sitting pretty here. After our first floor, of course, deal with the Devil Strat is what I'm going to go for. The good news about the last run is that we didn't take Brimstone or Mom's Knife, so if they show up on cue, no, all right, careful, careful, um, then uh, we can totally use those. Please, no, I am error. Balls of Steel is really good here. Bombs are key. That's so good. Even though uh, we won't be able to find secret rooms, to have all my key problems sorted out, is incredible and also to have three and a half spirit hearts backing me up here an HP upgrade that we didn't even earn at all um, this is a pretty amazing first floor we'll be heading down to the second floor with pretty much a 100% chance to get a deal with the devil unless something goes terribly terribly wrong we'll also for sure uh, we only took four cents down here but that uh, boss trap room looks unlikely then but we'll also for sure be able to go to our item room maybe get enough money to go to our shop although that's a little bit more of a crapshoot that would help. Uh, it does seem like there is a small chance that the uh, secret room could border the boss trap room, which would be awesome. But uh, first things first, I think you know what we're probably going to do here. We're going to get our deal with the devil's uh, situation sorted and see how things look. Ah, uh, this is a big mistake. Don't do what I did there. It was a dumb decision to use a bomb because I needed that bomb possibly to access the secret room and boss trap room. But it is going to speed up the fight drastically. At least we got something out of it. We also got meat, a couple of pennies, a reroll, and a deal with the devil. So, so far, so good. I'm gonna take Brimstone. I apologize to all you people out there who are gonna tune out as a result of this. I'm not gonna take Demon Baby. Let's save a little bit of HP. I'm just gonna be content having the same amount of HP that I had, you know, four or five minutes ago, plus four and a half Spirit Hearts and a really good item on top of it. Brimstone shows up. After that last run where we were really, really struggling for damage for quite some time, uh, I don't feel bad about picking up Brimstone in this situation. That's the thing, man. These Eve runs, they condition me to uh, not want to ever have low damage again. So, of course, I'm going to take Brimstone or Mom's Knife when it shows up. Bum friend is bad. Boo. Hiss. Our secret room. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Our secret room does not border the boss trap room, which means I can walk through here, pick up this money, 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 and then uh, just walk out like this. We're not going to take Bum Friend with us, and we're not going to get a reroll. We got one third of the way to becoming Guppy, but we've already looked at. Um, one second. It's got to work. Run! I think we might have done it. This is enough money to go to the shop. Yeah, okay, that's really useful. Maybe we'll get a 9 volt and be able to reroll, uh... Beggar... What is it? Why have I forgotten the name of it? That is crazy, I just had it a second ago. Whatever. Like tears in the rain. Uh, we... Are not gonna get anything useful here. So be it, we tried. We looked 9 lives in the face and said no, so I don't think we have a very good chance to become Guppy, but it could happen. It seems to have a likelihood to happen. Which I can get down with, and I'm pretty excited about the way that this run is going so far. We're not guaranteed to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, but we have a decent chance, and if we don't get it on this floor, assuming things don't go terribly, terribly wrong, we should have a pretty good chance to get it on the floor after this one. So again, I wouldn't expect uh, our damage to really be, you know, blowing the doors off anytime soon. But I expect it to be pretty good, and unlike our last Brimstone run a couple of runs ago, uh, we actually are charging our shots quickly here. Which means we won't have to wait like 15 seconds in between uh, each shot to actually do some damage. So, I think I am going to go uh, use a key here. We have a strong key base right now. 
And of course, there are some books that occasionally give you uh, a benefit just for having them. Book of Revelations, for example. Book of Sin, neither of which we've seen. But we have taken three books out of our rotation. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and all of our other, uh, you know, special rooms won't actually need a reroll. If they don't need a reroll, life is good. So we are going to pursue guppy items if they show up. I, yeah, nine lives could show up again, I think. But it's probably more likely to show up in a curse room. That might be totally me talking out of my ass. I'm not sure. We'll have a reroll ready for whatever this boss room throws at us. And truth be told, I'm open to anything right now. We're in the kind of position where... We can pretty much, you know, we don't need anything right now. We will in the future. This run's not strong enough to win on its own merits right now, but uh, it will be if we just get a little bit more of everything. All right. I don't like the way this Gertie Jr. fight's going so far. It's a relatively easy boss fight for Catacombs 1. Oftentimes you find Gertie Jr. on the basement or cellar, which is just horse hockey. Taking some dumb damage. Uh, can't really deny that because, you know, it's on the screen for everybody to see. Why can't I... Like, does Brimstone slow you down a little bit? Is that why I can't get out of the way in time here? Or is it just because I'm used to having more speed? This is actually going terribly. No deal with the devil, which is not unexpected because we already have a halved chance just as a result of the way things went on the last floor. And we picked up an HP upgrade, so I'd say this is still going fine. Um, just a little bit you know, unexpected that the room would be as difficult as it was. Still have Book of Sin, still have Book of Shadows, um, Book of Revelations. So we've still got a little ways to go until this library ends up uh, being a double item room, but we don't go to this library to turn it into a double item room. We do it for future prospects, basically. This library is uh, just a way for us to get that, uh, that engine rolling, basically. And it's looking like this floor will be over very, very soon, which is, you know, not surprising. Catacombs 1 is still pretty early. And we have enough keys, so I'm not even going to worry about trying to find the secret room and then bomb our way into anything special. We get Mr. Mega, so that settles our bomb situation quite nicely. And, you know, with poison bombs, synergizes really well. And there's the compass. Very easy decision to make there. Oh, there's not two rooms left. There's only one, so no more rerolls. Oh, shit. Just keep that half spirit heart. We don't know what the pill does. Let's take it. Okay. Yeah, that saved us uh, half a spirit heart. I was going to go in there anyway, so I don't mind that. Uh, let's look for our secret room just in case Greed's in there. Oh, man. Lucky first guess. I've been getting very lucky with my guesses on uh, secret rooms lately. All right. That's the end of this floor. And it was okay. It could have been worse. Where would have been a second secret room? There's not that many possibilities for it due to the, the way that it kind of snakes here. Let's try here. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at it. I don't really see any other options. So I'm just going to leave. It's been fun. So the next floor is a big one. We should expect to uh, have a pretty good chance. You know, only minus 25% uh, to get a deal with the devil. Start by working our way down here to a room that we can probably use a reroll on, our item room, because we're going to have a reroll ready right off the bat. Then we'll make our way to the boss room, and I think the rerolls will line up pretty much appropriately. All right, don't need that red heart for anything. Ah, sweet, a free spirit heart. That went very, very well. Oh, this actually is the way to our uh, boss room as well. Could be good, could be meaningless. Pill is puberty, which is... Again, meaningless. We'll uh, reroll teleport. It becomes blood rights, which is equally bad, I suppose you could say. But we're gonna just uh, come up here and get two thirds of a reroll before we go into our boss room, just because that's the smart way to handle things. So if a deal with the devil does show up, we have a reroll ready and don't have to fart around looking for anything. And with the amount of HP we have, a lot of deal with the devil uh, options are totally okay by me. Uh, yeah, I'll try. Alright. You know, we didn't gain anything major as a result of that, but we gotta check out our curse rooms. That's like, if you're trying to become Guppy, or at least you have the option to become Guppy, or the will to become Guppy, curse rooms is just, it's a necessary evil. Maybe only one out of every, like, 15 of them actually pays out with a Guppy item, but that can make the difference in a very important situation. And it's rarely the cause of your death. Rarely even a big contributor. 
and there's another spirit heart for us uh, anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. It's the Widow. Uh, we're not going to lose three spirit hearts against the Widow. We might get hit once because I'm bad at video games. That was a hell of a dodge there. I'd like to point those out because, I, you know, obviously the, the dodges where you fail and get hit are pretty visible on the screen. So I like to mix it up just a little bit and say, hey, Northern Lion, you did a good job. And I say, hey, person, that's quite obviously not just me. Thanks for the ego boost. All right, bad damage. Told you. I'm either right or I don't get hit. That's the, the false dilemma that I've set up for myself. And right now I am, I'm right. That doesn't feel as sweet as not getting hit would, but hey, good deal with the devil chance. And yes, pageant boy might be takeable on this floor. I think common cold is pretty much worth picking up. We reroll that. And I think luck foot is pretty much worth picking up. None of these were damage bonuses, although common cold is kind of a damage bonus, I guess. There's a nickel in there. Actually, I like pageant boy. I'm, it's probably long overdue for me to make another, like, top 10 worst items in Isaac, because I made Pageant Boy, like, number 5 worst item in Isaac, which is really not fair. <laughs> There's a lot of worse items. I mean, just in general, like, any spacebar item. And then, like, 8-ball and uh, Cat of Nine Tails. Let's just put it this way. There's a lot. Man, another Eternal Heart. That is super lucky, but... That's why I'm being super aggressive with these deals with the devil, is because the HP that we've gotten so far has allowed us to do this, basically. Would not be surprised to find greed in here, but if we don't find greed in here, we have a lot of money. Yep. Not unexpected. Poison damage does work. That's reassuring. I mean, it's not a lot of poison damage. But it is, uh, it helps. I should have gotten out of the way earlier there. Waste of money. Waste of spirit hearts. Hoping that we can get another deal with the devil on the next floor, but I think it's probably a, a little bit on the lesser likely side. Come on, give me the quarter. Nope. The key is nice, though. I do appreciate that. Don't get me wrong. We have to go back uh, now, and since we can get two rerolls, we'll reroll blood rights in the hopes of turning it into something perhaps a little bit more meaningful for our run. Maybe Magic Mushroom? I don't want to, you know, put items in the game's mouth, but Magic Mushroom is uh, amongst my favorites. I don't think I picked that up before I rerolled it. You know what? Halo of Flies is acceptable as well. They block shots, they don't do any damage, but that's not the main purpose of, uh, of orbitals. Sacrificial Dagger may be accepted, but, you know, let's move on. Mob Trap Room could have a Skeleton Key in it. Let's hope for the best. You know, like, the poison damage from Common Cold, I think I'd take it just because I've got, like, a sentimental sweet spot for it for reasons that I don't fully comprehend. Because the damage is not that good. It wasn't even enough to break, like, with a brimstone shot that also incurred poison damage on onto the enemy. Uh, it wasn't enough to break the double spider, which is crazy to me. Because you'd think that one brimstone shot would be enough to do it by itself. I guess not. Okay. So how do I feel about this run? I am starting to get the hunch that maybe we've been a little bit over-aggressive with, uh, with our deals with the devil. But all we need is, like, you know, one HP upgrade pill. That pays for Luckfoot. I mean, I guess technically two pays for Luckfoot because, you know, there's a 50% chance that it would have already been an HP upgrade, but yada yada. Why don't you get out of here with your math, nerdlinger? Yeah, beat it! Not gonna look for a second secret room, except I totally am here. And I totally am here. Aw, oh, really? All right, let's save five bombs. I think it's worth the risk when it pans out. I mean, I guess it's maybe on this floor it wouldn't be because we already had an internal heart uh, just kind of chilling like a Krillin. Let's make sure we get it. What am I? What am I doing down here? <laughs> I lost uh, myself for a minute there. It was like we're gonna reroll our item room. Mm, already did it, Slugger. You got Halo of Flies. There we go. Well, there is a uh, pretty good chance that we take Red Heart damage on the next floor. We already have a have to deal with the Devil chance as a result of the fact that we took a deal with the Devil on this floor for the next floor, uh, but. I, yeah, we got a chance. If it pans out, it would be very nice. Didn't even look for the regular secret room either. Fuck it. 
We'll do it live. Necropolis one. At least it's not XL. With three keys, I don't necessarily feel comfortable opening this golden chest, but if we get maybe, yeah, I was gonna say one more, we'll we'll probably go through with it, even though it costs us a bomb as well. Alright, ladder is a reroll city. And with Luckfoot, this is where the money happens. Let's see what this one is. So let's speed up. It's too bad that wasn't like tears or HP, because there's another pill just like it right next to us. I found pills. Bombs are key. And Tears Up. Well, we paid 15 cents for a Tears upgrade. Could be better. Golden chest contains a lot of money and two more keys. So I feel okay about that. Not the best coin purse we could have asked for. That's all right. Sometimes that's got to happen. The tears upgrade, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's invaluable, but it helps. See, the man, the poison damage doesn't even break the spider. It's an embarrassment. All right, this guy, pretty easy when you're rolling with Brimmy. Oh, jeez. Uh, don't get too cocky here. And, oh. And, oh, all right. Ah, oh, scary. Yeah, fuck this room. Thank you. Good. I would uh, probably abandon. Oh, okay. Thank you for the spirit heart. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here expecting a deal with the devil. It's not going that way. It's not looking that way right now. Thanks a lot, Necropolis. Or should I say. Big old jerk monster. Thank you, Balls of Steel. Don't really want anything from that. Not out of a regular chest anyway. Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me. Well, lots of rooms getting the fuck you treatment tonight. Thank you for giving me an out on this one, at least. I was looking quite scary for a minute there. Ten bombs. You know, we got enough time to reroll this into something better. That was, uh, that was a horrifying little area of the map there. We're not doing very much damage to Loki, but at the same time, the bomb flies will explode instantly. So as long as we can just keep up this song and dance, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Especially because the bombs that he summons do so much more damage as a result of the, uh, poison and mega bombs. That was really easy. That was easier than, like, almost all of the rooms that preceded it. So we got rerolls coming back for the item room here, and I really, really hope our next shop does not have greed or has greed that pays out with Steam sales, so we can get uh, another shop item. Again, the shop, uh, the shop item pedestals are precious, you know. The more of those we get, the better it is for us. We're not gonna be able to go to our mob trap room. It's looking that way, at least. The, getting the money here is not that meaningful, but why not try, right? We also looked for the secret room while doing it. And, of course, getting the money here is not that meaningful is a code word that I said to the game to get it to give me, you know, nine cents instead of the five that it was going to give us or the two that it was going to give us. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and guess that we probably don't have... Well, there's no tinted rock there, but there's we don't have a reroll anywhere else in this. That pills a speed upgrade. You know what? I could use a second speed upgrade. I'm also gonna take bombs or key. Fuck it. More golden chests for me. Yeah, this speed. That's feeling a little bit more my speed right here. Take it out of first gear, Grandma. Vroom! I'm gonna become those motorcyclists outside of my own window. I don't think we're gonna get another reroll, which is why I'm coming through here. That's the sentence that I meant to figure uh, or finish uh, a while ago. We're gonna save balls of steel for the next floor. Maybe we would have had one more reroll. I'm not. Especially concerned with it, though. Okay. Excuse me? Oh, no, after you. Okay, thank you. Easy room. And we'll finish the job. Probably could have done that about half a second faster. Lots of potential secret room locations. Not as interested as you might be. You know what? We're not even going to use Balls of Steel on the next floor. We'll probably use it on the floor after it and just hold on to it. Unless we get something better, that is. We could use it to gain access to the... Uh, Mob trap room after you, thank you. Um, but uh, my guess is that the mob trap room probably not going to be that meaningful. I would really want the regular chest to pay out with a golden chest and then like an HP upgrade. What are the odds? Eh, you know, not zero, but not very good. 
Sure, Sacrificial Dagger makes a uh, worthwhile third addition to our orbitals here. Good mix of offense and defense. Down to the next floor. It's the depths, and I'm happy about this because it means that I don't have to use Balls of Steel, or probably won't have to use Balls of Steel, just to make sure I don't die. Which was something that was looking like it <laughs> could happen based on the way that I choked on the last floor. But, it, you know, Necropolis is a hard floor, man. Emperor. Um... So the way that I think we do this now is we probably end up using Balls of Steel just before the Mom fight, and then we come back for the Emperor card. That was very lucky. Uh, th yeah, then we come back for the Emperor card. Take that into the Mom fight, and then uh, take that down to the next floor. We probably won't use it... ...until later in the game. One key for two regular chests? I think that's worth it. Well, it didn't pay for itself in keys, but it did give me some money, I guess. Rainbow Baby is a reroll as far as I'm concerned. D20. Well, the D20 is useful because I'm going to be coming down here to our, uh, our arcade. Wow, this is not the right direction. Color me surprised. Yeah, that was a scary spawn for these guys. Jeez, you freaking sneak up on me or something. Um, I don't see a mini boss, so I'm pretty sure that this shop is going to be dog shit. Dare we maybe look for a uh, secret room here? Sure. I'm glad we did. Three cents? Well, maybe not so glad, but at least we found it. We can kind of suss out a little bit more of the layout now. Another reroll ready. I don't want to reroll the D20 yet. I want to save it for uh, a little bit later. Because we're going to play the... the uh... Really? Really? We're going to play the Blood Bank a little bit, and it makes sense to have the, you know, D20 ready for that, I think. Because we're going to be able to reroll a lot of pennies that we're probably not going to need because we're fighting greed. Steam Sale, dog. Give me the Steam Sale. Let me reroll it into the Nun's Habit. It's the only way to be sure. All right, well, we tried. Uh, we also could have just rerolled that room, I guess, right off the bat, but whatever. We'll pick up our money. Give this man his money. And we'll cherry it immediately, just in case it pays out immediately. It's not like we're holding back for, like, a boss trap room or anything. We'll go a little harder. We'll play a few times on it. Mostly because I really want the HP upgrade. That's probably enough. A couple nickels on the ground. I don't really care. Uh, we're going to try to... Sure, Isaac's Fork might help us get some HP back. But, yeah, we're going to try to get some Spirit Hearts to back us up. Whoa! Uh, that's a surprise. So, Flyloove, um, I was hoping maybe I'd get a card that teleports me out of here. Now the Sun card is more valuable than the, uh, the Emperor card. I want to, I want to blow up the Blood Bank. But, okay, let me rephrase. I don't want to blow up the Blood Bank, but I want to, um, really a second Sun card? You shouldn't have. What, what's this third card? We're going to use this second Sun card. Wheel of Fortune? Sure, pop it down. We'll get double gambling going on in here. Uh, we'll use one Sun card. And then we'll do this. The reason I wanted to pay out is because I want to, you know, knock these pennies away from the door. But it'll blow up the blood bank in the process, which, you know, I don't relish the thought of. Okay. So pick up the sun. And, uh, you know, do a little of this bounce back and forth. Uh, watch out with those bombs, please. It's the moon card. That teleports us out. That's, that's kind of the card that I needed here. Make sure we have the sun. I don't care about the trinkets here. Um, not the sun. We need the moon. Very different. Again, I don't really care about trinkets, but I guess Isaac's Fork is the best for us right now. Moon. Leave. Why leave? Because we're going to come back, and, uh, I know we can maybe get more rerolls with the D20. But we're in a pretty good position reroll-wise as is. We know what that pill does? That's, uh, that's Balls of Steel. Good old Balls of Steel. Um... I'm going to use it right away, because we already have Spirit Hearts. It's lazy. It's a bit of a lazy play. That's okay. Um, sometimes, you know, laziness is a virtue if it helps you be more productive later. That's the way I've, uh, I've always seen it. My teachers uh, disagreed a little bit. So we're going to walk in. We're probably going to pick up some pennies. Don't sweat it. Just don't move. That's fine. Reroll everything on the ground. It'll reroll the Sun card, though. Ew. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go pick up the sun card. 
and then reroll everything. So we'll lose the Emperor card in the process. And uh, we want to pick up keys for sure. Pick up red hearts. Pills. It's a tears upgrade. Bombs. Red hearts. Yeah. Golden chest. I'm going to pick up everything. It's going to take us 100 years if I don't. Okay. Uh, we got everything. Everything except for some red hearts on the ground. Uh, what's our... It's a strength card. Okay, let's take our strength card. And now we're going to, you know, quintuple down on actually getting this motherfucker to pay out. And if it doesn't, we could get another reroll with the D20, but I kind of want to reroll the D20 to something else and, you know, get as many rerolls on the D6 as we can. This worked out fantastically. I, I couldn't be happier. So, we're going to just leave. We even have the sun card here, which is great. And now we're going to focus on rerolling uh, the D20. And if we could uh, reroll Fly Love, I may. Fly Love's not that bad, but it's also not that good. And again, that was a little bit of a lucky kind of interaction for us there. But it worked. And it becomes Spoonbender, which would be sweet if the, uh, if the synergy actually worked, but it doesn't. Because it's not Rebirth. But it will be sweet in Rebirth when it actually works. Thank you very much for the poison damage. I appreciate it more than you may know. Save us a little bit of time here. I don't really care about the money, but I'll pick it up. Alright, so Spoonbender is going to be our number one reroll target. We should have one more reroll afterwards, which we could use on Flylove, or we could use it on the boss room and take Flylove with us. I'm not too concerned either way. I have no idea what the reroll pool is for uh, the arcade. And to be honest with you, I don't really care what the reroll pool is for the arcade. Because Fly Love is okay. I'd be pissed. Well, we're actually only going to get one reroll to begin with here. Ooh, yeah, that's uh, that's worth it. And the blood bag's already gone. So with only one reroll, we're just going to reroll Spoon Better, take Fly Love with us. And we'll finish off these three rooms. It's not fair because we could get one more reroll. Don't be lazy, and don't be whiny, or else my brother I might have to get medieval on that hiney. Is that a Nicki Minaj song, or a Weird Al Yankovic song? Place your bets now. I'm lazy. Let's do it. Don't try that pickup line, it doesn't work. Not that I would know. We would have had one more reroll. Sloppy play, Northern Lion. Sloppy play, but that's okay. If you handicap yourself when you play, when you really play for real, it makes you that much better. There's another excuse you could try using. Tulip pools. Um, there's a risk here. Obviously, we could get a deal with the devil. But we could also, um, you know, teleport to an I Am Error room and end up completely losing out on that sun card. But I think it's kind of worth it. I think it's worth the risk if we get a deal with the devil. And if we get to an I Am Error room, hey, maybe free items at least. Alright, Spoonbender gets rerolled into Attack Fly. Pretty much the definition of, eh, okay. Continue moving it along here. Um, fly level will get picked up. We'll fight the boss. Telepills out. After that, we'll uh, reconvene and see if we're in an okay position to move forward. I, I think this run is in a very high potential state right now. All right. Gives us a sweet hat, too. Now, I didn't really care which mom I was fighting here. The only thing that sucks about this is that it's hard for us to get, like, full damage from our shots because the foot stays down for so little time. And it's, you know, sometimes one of the toughest to dodge, but we do have a mostly full suite of orbitals in one way or the other. And really, like, what we need on this run is more damage. If we don't get more damage, we're, uh, not necessarily sunk, but it's going to be a long road. So I'm trying to get, uh... Maybe, like, attack fly in sync here. There we go. More or less. Doesn't stay in sync for very long. Oh, that was bad damage. It's alright. Let's use a sacrificial dagger, then. That worked. That worked way better, in fact. Oh, yeah, nice. Really well done there. Well, at least we got a spirit heart back. We got a pill as well. Tarot card is strength. Yeah. What's our other pill? Balls of steel? Oh, wow, sweet. Alright, uh, telepills out. No I am error. 
So we'll make sure to go pick up our sun card, then see if we earn a deal with the devil. We didn't get a deal with the devil on the last floor. She was, we should have a pretty good chance on this one, as far as I'm concerned. And two guppy items, man. That's it right there. Next thing we need is another brimstone uh, guppy run. I'm sorry that guppy shows up so often, but here, the, the way it stacks is, like, modular. You see one guppy item and you say, like, nine lives in particular. Early nine lives, you already took one deal with the devil. You're like, hey, I might as well take the second one. It's basically half price. And then when you see other guppy items, you're like, well, I should buy those because we already got one of the guppy items. And then, you know, before you know it, you, you became guppy. We're fighting Krampus. Uh, you know. What do you want me to say? I think Krampus is, is just fine. Lump of coal, I have no idea how it affects Brimstone. At least on our next deal with the devil. We probably won't fight Krampus. Used a lot of bombs there, but that's okay. Ooh, don't, uh, don't do that. Next floor, please. Alright, compass... This is not the right way to go to get to the boss fight. It did look a little too good to be true, didn't it? Try the right side this time. This floor is, like, devoid of interesting elements right now. No offense, uh, Ed and Florian, of course. Like, there's just not a lot of good rooms here. Our whole library gambit hasn't even paid out yet. You know, this run has had so many eternal hearts. I'm overjoyed. I appreciate getting all this free HP. It's a surprising amount of eternal hearts being generated. I'll tell you that much, though. Bombs are key. Sure, why not? Who knows? We, st we do want to get Guppy's tail, so this will help us out in that event. We don't talk about the events. Every room so far has been super easy, but it's really, uh, one, oh, I didn't see that. Once we come up against an enemy that has a lot of HP, that's where we're gonna eat it. Ah, Teratoma's not that enemy. So we'll let Attack Fly do a little bit of work, as long as there's no risk of, uh, you know, spiders exploding all over my face. Joke's on you, there's always at least a small chance of that happening, just through, you know, quantum tunneling. Another comforting thought for you as you, you know, go about your day. And deal with the devil. No, pentagram. Okay, that helps a lot. Free joker card. Oh, there's our library. And an arcade. And a, uh, a boss trap room. So this is, uh, what do we call these floors? These are floors that have seams. Now that's a phone with a feel. No, Raffi. F off, okay? You had your time in the sun. Devil, good card. Uh, tears up, sure. Book of Sin, Book of Shadows, we knew it would happen. Also sounds like, well, it's another tears upgrade. Also sounds like a great name for like a Coheed and Cambria album or something. All right, so first things first, get to half heart interval. Then, Book of Shadows like crazy. If we can just get the blood bag without having to deal with the, you know, low HP situation, that would be best for me. Even though it would mean that we, uh, you know, don't actually get to go to that boss trap room. I would still welcome it. Should have kept the D20, man. Look at all this shit on the floor right now. Oh, really? Well, at least we have a reroll pedestal generated from it. And I'm sure we can get our HP back. Let's get our HP back. There's more pennies over there. I don't really care. Uh, okay, so first things first, reroll these. Book of Revelations is basically just a free spirit heart at this point. Didn't actually use it there. Could use IV bag to get to this boss trap room. I almost feel like it's worth it. That's a uh, good use for my devil card, too. Really? I'm surprised by that shot. At least we had the extra spirit heart to back it up, though. And we're in, this is like a... It's a floor where the only upside is don't blow it. It's not like we're ever going to get, uh, you know, a ton of value out of this. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a little seamy, but not very much now that I know there's no blood bag. Well, we get a lot of plays out of this. Not that it can ever pay out well for us, but... Did it take half of an eternal heart, too? I hate when things in this game do that. But it does allow us to get access to the boss trap room. Which we should probably get a reroll pedestal or a reroll uh, opportunity before we go through with it. Oh snap! This again, huh? Yep. All right. 
I'm prepared to eat a little shit. It's in the job description. Uh, let me play the Binding of Isaac. Good, we got hit once. That's solid. That is absolutely acceptable. Devil card, that's what we're gonna take with us. Low on HP, this is why I was a little bit hesitant coming into this. It's a bit of a big risk. The HP upgrade is fine though. That's, you know, pretty much what I expected. I spawned both bosses at the same time. At some point, I can't blame the game for that. Even though it is like inherently the game's fault. It's been in the game for so long. Oh, Jesus Christ. That what do you want me to say, right? Like, fuck you, Edmund. Did I get hit by that again? Now you gotta be kidding me. Thank God we got that sun card. We gotta get out though. Got hit like three times already on this room. But yeah, that's it's a glitch with the game, but it's my own fault for failing to remember that the glitch exists. Oh well. Hopefully we don't have to use the sun card, because really the the job description for it is survive until the uh, the chest, and then just do it. Range upgrade and poop. We're gonna probably be looking out for something better than that. In the meantime, let's uh let's play this a couple of times. Win some red hearts, win some spirit hearts, help me out. Sure, good money, exactly what we need. Yeah, even more of it, sure, sign me up. Who doesn't want more money? This guy right here. More bombs, it's a start. Keys, probably at this point less meaningful than bombs. But that's okay, we have fly love so we don't really need to worry about the fly, so I can give my one hand a rest here. Oh, out of water, okay, well, gotta do something with it. Um, red heart is good. We'll play until we get down to 75 cents. It always helps to give yourself a time constraint like that, so I'm not thinking like, oh, we're gonna be here for 233,000 years. Sweets, we're at a half-heart interval with the spirit heart backing us up now. Uh, and you know what? Fuck our 75 cent interval. We're gonna play till 95 cents now. Which is substantially less because I'm getting bored of this nonsense. Our half-heart interval's gone. But it'll be back right there. We're almost back to full HP. And there's our 95 cent threshold crossed. We got another spirit heart. Fuck you. And another bomb. Fuck you. Ah, and I ruined my half-heart interval again. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna reroll those because the range upgrade is obviously meaningless, but I'm pretty stoked about how this has gone, despite the fact that I lost so many spirit hearts in that boss trap room like a nincompoop. So that worked. Uh, I was skeptical, but got the job done. Now all we need is 21 golden chests. Ah, 17, because we're gonna get four on the chest as well. Four on the chest, the Northern Lion story. You don't get that one, why don't you ask your mother? Not good enough. You know what, let's clear out this floor. I, I've come this far. We might as well try to get uh, whatever we can from this. Yeah. Might as well try to get whatever we can from this uh, double item room, right? We went through all the trouble of creating it. It would be a shame to just leave and say like, well, we tried. Dead bird uh, might be for some people acceptable. And for me, sometimes it might be acceptable. When I say some people, you know, I consider myself a different person every time I recorded an Isaac episode. It's based on my mood, it's based on the other items that I have, what I have for breakfast that day. Uh, that's the only constant, actually. It's always cashy, go lean, crunch. It's like healthy sugar crisp, man. How could you go wrong? Well, it turns out it's usually not that good for you, but it's, it's still delicious. Also, it's pricey as far as cereals go. Josh Groban eats it, though. So I'm just trying to grow my singing voice. Wow. Freak that. Uh, Alright, that's not really helpful. This is probably our last room. I hope it actually has enemies in it. Okay, thankfully it does. So we'll be picking up the steam sale. Thanks for the nickel. We'll be picking up the steam sale. Uh, and we'll be... Re-rolling. I'm trying to do my didgeridoo impression. You know what? It's not even worth risking walking over the spikes. That's me giving the middle finger to the game. I actually did it in real life, like you could see me. The future, man. So, Hourglass obviously gets picked up, and then both of these get re-rolled. Lard and Mini Mush. Pretty much like a perfect complement to one another. We get lower speed, and then we get higher speed, and we've got the HP to go along with it. There's actually one more room before the boss that I didn't even realize down here. Real eyes. Uh, well, there was a real eye on there. Real eyes. Real eyes. Real lies. 
as Jaden Smith said. Which, I've always thought that was, uh, true. Oh, I didn't even see you up there. Okay, just do better on not getting hit here. Remember, Monstro's where, uh, he's the limiting reagent. He's where we get a little slower briefly. Uh, except for that time when he disappeared because he died to poison damage midair. I appreciate that the game doesn't... Well, excuse me. Something's weird, uh, in the state of Denmark right now. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. You know what I mean. It's poison. Mom's rotten. Okay, I didn't need to shoot those flies, I guess. Wow, that was real close. This guy's doing some pretty good shots, you gotta admit. Good stuff. <coughs> we'll take our red heart. Up to the cathedral. Cursed room? Yeah, I mean, we may go to it. We can't fly, so it's it's an expensive trip. See you next fall. Doesn't really make any sense, Dad. In this context, at least. That didn't explode in your face? Something's gone wrong, then. Spawn a fly. Spawn a fly. No? Okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, maybe you could take this opportunity to spawn a fly. I want to, like, spawn a fly. That's, uh, that's a teleportation. If you're on my good side, uh, if you want to get on my good side, I should say, maybe you could take this opportunity to spawn a fly. No? Okay, well, uh, it's your, your funeral, I guess. You just teleport again and they get killed. It's up to you, I suppose, in the whole scheme of things. I don't want to take away your personal autonomy. Live your life, man. Oops. I forgot. You lost it. Probably the worst trash talk of all time, I'll just admit. Alright, poison damage probably won't take him out, but maybe. Umbilical cord. Eh, more or less worthless. How do I feel about these, uh, eternal hearts? Or, sorry, these spirit hearts. I feel like I like them, and I'd like them to stick around. I wonder if we're fast enough to get in and out of our curse room in the period of invincibility. Nope. <laughs> Found that one out pretty quickly. Now, we do still have our sun card. If we didn't have that, I would, uh, be displeased. Extra spirit heart feels good. Let's kill the... Oh, man, I didn't kill the spider first. I was... Okay, you know what? Fuck you and your AI. Thanks for the spirit heart. You took one of my red hearts in the process. I want it back. How do we do this? Embrace the free damage. Every time you get hit, go in and make sure that he gets hit just as bad. Because it ain't about how hard you know the deal. Now, the bombs are also important. Relatively speaking. I expect to take a lot of damage. This is going to be one of those, you know, late game boss fights, probably for both the uh, boss fights, where we're tanking damage. We have the HP for it, thanks to all those eternal hearts we picked up. But we're definitely not in a position where we're like, you know, trading shots one for one. I'm going to have to hit him like a hundred times and he's going to hit me like 50. That's not one to one. I don't even know what I meant by that sentence. In any case, at least he's not shooting that much at me. You know, Brimstone is a, a very good anti-Blue Baby, anti-Isaac item. Let's keep this up. Ah, the, yeah, the poison damage is helping. We are one-shotting Angel Fetuses, which is going to make crowd control a ton easier here. And we haven't taken that many hits, to be honest with you. It could be worse. Oh, that was a bad play, but this bomb should finish the job then. Half a red heart, that's useful for once. We'll pick that up, and now uh, we come to a little bit of a moment of truth. Tarot cards, Peeper's Eye, Ipecac. Ipecac Brimstone I don't think works, but we'll use it anyway just in case it does. Yum Heart we can use once. Tarot card is two of hearts, which didn't have to pop it right away, but I'm going to pop it right away. Everything else is going to get rerolled. Monstro has two ten bombs and the feather. All these are going to get rerolled. We're not going to need 13 bombs. We're just not. Uh, Ipecac Brimstone certainly seems to make it take about a uh, hundred times larger to, or longer to charge your shots. Let's hope that was just a one-off. And sure, killing Gluttony last is pretty much where I want to be. Even gave us a half-heart interval. Uh, so we have our choice. Now that poison damage may be from Ipecac, but I think it's just from Common Cold instead. How sweet would it be if the Brimstone Beam like made things explode on contact with Ipecac? Answer, sweet as freaking heck. 
And back, uh, okay, that was a little close for comfort. Extra spirit heart, and this is gonna be our last reroll. I'm very, very confident that we've got the win now. I don't even care about picking those up. Ugh, ugh. It's disappointing. Not even gonna bother going in there. Picking up any of those items. Skinny Odd Mushroom I didn't pick up just because it would actually make us worse, I think. Our charge time would go down, but our individual damage from shots would go down, and most of the time that's an acceptable trade-off. But with Brimstone, I don't think that's something I'm in, in the mood for. Yeah, if you could die... Oh my god. If you could die before uh, going into your diagonal state, that works fine for me. Alright, how do I feel about this one? I feel like we should start by maybe you know, placing some bombs around the perimeter here. I know I talked about free damage uh, being important. At the same time, this damage is very expensive, but we can afford it because we've got a winning lottery card in our Q slot right now. Only I get to call it a Q slot, okay? When you say it, it makes me feel dirty. Now, one more bomb may not finish the job, but it'll take us, you know, to 4 o'clock. And this is over, wow. Again, surprisingly easy. Come at me, bros. I dare ya. You know what? I'll just kill him with the sun card. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with another Isaac episode. Goodbye.